was there and somebody was presenting the lumbar facet guidelines and, and he says, you know, the, the evidence is so poor for lumbar, you know, uh, facet radio frequency. It's all over the place. You know, who, who, why would you do guidelines on this? And I'm like, thank you. You answered your own question. It, it's, you know, if the evidence was really compelling, we would not need guidelines. But there's a lot of uh, differences in opinion. So guidelines represent a roadmap. They're different than standards. Standards comes from, like, an unimpeachable authority, like the American Society of Anesthesiologists. Um, they could be the same in some circumstances, but not necessarily. Um, they try to direct a course of action, um, but they're not um, enforceable. They're often used um, you know, in, in civil litigation. Um, there are a little bit different than best practices. Best practices outline techniques that produce better outcomes than others. Different societies have different uh, perspectives. Different stakeholders have different perspectives. And the goals of patients, providers, Researchers, payers, you know, may be different. Um, and you can see here, you know, policy. Um, why do I need to do this? Standards. What exactly do I need to do? What will the consequences be if I don't do this? Um, procedures or how do I do this? And then you have guidelines which, which kind of overlap. 